All right, everyone, welcome back. And in this lesson, we're going to deal with something other than triangles. We're going to deal with some, some other polygons. And just to warm us up, kind of a little bit of a review, what do we call a polygon with four sides? It's from our last unit. How about a polygon with six sides or a polygon with eight sides? If you don't remember, four sides is a quadrilateral. Uh, six sides is a hexagon and eight sides is an octagon and believe it or not This does have one two three four five six sides. So that is a hexagon two three four Five six seven eight. So that's an octagon. You might be saying oh, I thought the octagon looks like a stop sign or I thought a hexagon looked like a beehive Well, we'll address that a little bit in this lesson so let's first define what a polygon is. And a polygon is a closed shape with sides that are straight line segments. Exactly two sides will meet at something called a vertex. And the plural for vertex is vertices. So if I say vertices, I'm talking about more than one vertex. And because we have a closed shape, we need to have at least three sides. So there'll be vertices, you know, plural um, on each shape. So the shape on the left is a polygon. Okay, it kind of looks like a double flag of some sort. And I believe there's one, two, three, four, five sides. So that is a pentagon. It's closed. It's got all the line segments meeting at vert vertices. Each, so each two you know, meet at a vertex. So that is a polygon. The ones on the right are not polygons. Um, the, the first one here, we have this issue. It's kind of two polygons meeting together. So that is not a polygon. Uh, this guy here, we have this gap here. Remember, a polygon has to be a closed shape. And a circle is not a polygon because it has it is round. And remember, a polygon must have straight line segments. Now, you know, previously I, you, you might have seen, you know, thought of these shapes for hexagon and octagon, etc. Well, these are called regular polygons. And that means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. And we just call them regular, okay? So that first triangle, we, we, we learned that's an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. Uh, next, we got a square. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. And then we have a pentagon, hexagon, and octagon. And you can see we're using hatch marks. We can see we, we are using the symbols to indicate that the angles are equal. And they kind of do that in a few different ways. You, you can see they have this double, double arc here. Here we got a hatch mark in an arc, and here we just got the regular arc. Now, regular polygons have line symmetry. So if we were to divide it in half, it should be mirrored on either side. This hexagon has six lines of symmetry. So count with me, that's one, two, three, four, five, six different ways to cut that in half to get line symmetry. Now, there's things called irregular polygons. It's the opposite of a, po a regular polygon. Not all the sides are equal, not all the angles are equal. So here I got a scalene triangle. We learned about those guys before. I have a quadrilateral, an irregular quadrilateral, and I have, I believe, a hexagon. It's, it looks more like a fish, I guess, or some fish with no head on it. I'm not sure, but uh, those are irregular. A couple more things to talk about. We have something called a convex polygon, and this is indicating that all the angles inside are less than a straight line. So remember, 180 degrees is a straight angle. Okay, as long as it's an obtuse or an acute, it is a convex polygon. Here we got an acute, acute, acute. Uh, here we got an obtuse, an acute, uh, an acute and obtuse. So because both of those are all 180 degrees or less, they're convex. Here we have obtuse, obtuse, uh, obtuse, obtuse, and obtuse. So it's possible, I guess that's supposed to be no, possible to have a, a shape with all obtuse angles, okay? Now the opposite of convex is a concave, and that means one angle is greater than 180. And if you remember what that is, it means it's a reflex angle. Uh, a reflex angle is between 180 and 360. So all these shapes, even though they have only one con, you know, reflex angle, it makes them a concave polygon. So I'll let you try this. Uh, I have a few questions here. Which shapes, which ones are these are polygons, first of all? And for those that are, which ones are regular? Which ones are convex? And which ones are concave? All right, well, let's get rid of the ones that are not polygons. 
this is not a polygon. We have that little issue there. And this one's not a polygon because it's not a closed shape. But those, now the rest are B, C, D, E, G, and H are polygons. So which ones are regular? Well, square appears all the sides are the same. That's a regular polygon. Uh, I intended this pentagon to have all sides the same. And I think this is supposed to be a rhombus. All the sides are supposed to be the same there. I mean, it may not look like it, but I was intending that. Now, which ones are convex? Well, convex, again, remember, it's less than 180 degrees. So this is a convex. I'll put something like that. Um, this is a convex. This is a convex. This rectangle is a convex. And this isosceles triangle is a convex. And that leaves our good old star there. And the star is a concave polygon. I don't know, concave, concave. And you can see that we have a reflex, a reflex, a reflex, a reflex, five reflex angles in there with five acute angles, a lot of angles in that star. That is a concave polygon. Well, there you have it. We see these shapes in life all the time. So remember, in life, math happens. Take care, everyone.